What's up, my friends? Welcome back. John Levesque here, back with another tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you another entry in the DocuSign 101 series. Today, we're going to talk about templates, how you can take a document that you use all the time and create a template out of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so first thing first, you're gonna go to developers.docusign.com. You're gonna sign in. A couple of helpful links, admindemo.docusign.com is gonna take you to your admin demo dashboard area where you can set all your settings. If you check our previous videos, you'll see some of that. Also, if you go to appdemo.docusign.com and again, sign in with that developer account, it's gonna take you right here to your full DocuSign experience in demo mode so that you can have unlimited access so that you can test things out if you're not sure about what i'm talking about go ahead and go back to some of the other videos check the description down there there will be some links all right before we go further though i want to ask you to do me a huge favor while you're there at the description go ahead and click that like button for me thank you very much okay let's go ahead and jump in let's click templates at the top if you haven't already we're going to go ahead and click new and then click create template we will go ahead and give it a name. We will go ahead and upload our sample contract here, which is standard video production contract. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set a signing order here. Now, uh, I'm going to actually want the contract to come to me first. And so I'm gonna go ahead and set it. John Levesque, email me at johnlevesque.com. And then I'm gonna add a recipient. And that recipient, I'm gonna just put under role here, customer. Cause I don't know who they are yet, right? I don't know their name, I don't know their email. And so I'm going to put customer here. So then that way, once I do know who they are, I have a space to send them this, okay? Um, and so next, uh, that's all set. Now let's add some custom language. So when it's coming to me, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Uh, this this standard subject here. And I'm going to click this little button here and insert customer's name and then put that little bar and then insert customer's email. Now, for me, this is going to make uh, searching my email for my customers a lot easier. And then I'll put something like new customer, please complete details something like that right uh and now for the customer we're gonna say please docusign video production contract with john rebeck media right and there's a couple things over here customer's name customer e email we can put that but obviously um they're not going to want to see their no own name and email in the subject they're going to, going to want to know who this is coming from and so then we can say please Review and sign at yeah, your convenience, right? Um, okay, so we have our basics all in order here, right? Uh, let's go ahead and check our advanced options real quick. Uh, we can allow the recipients to change signing responsibility. Um, we can we see here that this is all set in my admin settings. So after seven days, they're going to get a reminder. And then uh, every three days, they'll get a new reminder. And so this is all set in admin settings. If you go back to my previous video, you can see how you can change all of this or allow override for this. Uh, for now, this is all actually set in my admin settings, our branding colors, the logos, all that good stuff. Okay. So let's go ahead and now move on to the next part of creating the template. And this is where we actually drag things into uh, the document. And so we can see uh, there is a date signed field up here. Uh, there's then uh, between client and producer. And so let's see. Um, so I want text. So let's bring that. It's a little big. We can bring that down some like that. And now let's go ahead and change over to customer. Oh, wait, nope, sorry, put that back. Now we're gonna drag a new text field on and we will extend it out a little bit and we'll shrink it down a little bit and then we will make that customer. Now, if we grab this, we can, there we go, perfect. So date signed, customer, me, right? Now, 
uh, now that it's on me, I'm going to fill out this part. So what's the project title? What's the max length of that project? What's the media type that'll be delivered? Now, obviously, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and fill out lines two and three here and all this other stuff. To keep it simple, we're just going to go ahead and leave it just like this. Um, now we'll move on and we have total project cost. OK, and so we can drop some text here. And then what we can do is actually go to validation and say that we expect numbers. OK, and then we'll have a. 4,000 character limit. Um, yeah, sure. We could ask for that much money. Why not? And then we'll add a couple other things here. Um, we want we want a certain percentage up front. Oh, that won't, sh that's not shrinking for me. How come? Let's shrink it down. There we go. A certain percentage up front, which is going to equal so many dollars. Then we would also like a certain percentage upon completion, which will be so many dollars, okay? And then let's go ahead and say for the customer, nope, again, John, too early, jump in the gun. We're gonna drag an initial right here. And we're going to set that to the customer because we want them to agree to our two contract pieces here, right? I want 50% up front maybe or 25% up front and then the rest upon completion. I want them to make sure and look at that. So I'm going to have them initial right there. Now we go down. There's all this good legalness, you know, all the legal ease. And now we're going to come here. And so we can see we're in blue right now with customer. And so we're going to drop a text field here for their name. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's put full name right here. And then let's put their signature right here. And then we'll put the date here. And then we're going to put text box number one and text box number two. Okay, now I might have to recreate all this over here for, for production company, right? Well, instead of doing that, if I just click and copy all this, and then if I hit control D, look at that, it duplicates it all. I can drag it over to this other side and then I can actually change it to customer. Now, funny enough, I messed up. Um, I actually am going to want to uh, grab all of this, move it over to here, out of my way real quick. Grab all this blue, oops, oopsie daisy, I'm messing it all up. Um, anyways, you can see here that I can group all this and kind of drag it around. And so this is, client right and then this one is for me because i'm in yellow and they're in blue so let's put this all here and here and here okay so now we have everything in place okay so we're pretty good our template is created in a basic format now obviously there's a lot that you could go into check boxes drop downs radio buttons payment items approvals, all kinds of amazing things. Uh, this is a basic 101 introduction to creating a template, okay? So now that we have this complete, we can go ahead and save and close. And now we can actually use this template to test it out. And so when we use it, we know that, oh, look, it's coming to me first, obviously, and it's going to go to someone else. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna send it to me for both. We'll say John Doe, and we'll give my email. We already have our custom language. We have our advanced options set. Let's go ahead and send it. And then I'm gonna hit sign later. 
And now I'm going to open up my email. All right, so the first person is John Doe, right? Is is it's actually it's coming to me and it's showing me that John Doe with my email address, obviously, uh, is the person who signed this contract, who initiated this contract. Now, as a photographer, I might have this hosted on my website. I might have this hosted on a on a virtual business card somewhere, on my link tree, on my TikTok. I might have it on my Instagram. Wherever it might be, this process can begin anywhere. And that's the beautiful part of it, right? Is that this begins to be automated. There's other pieces that we'll show you later how to make this even more automated. But first, we need the template. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I trust content from DocuSign so that I get the full experience. You can see my logo pops up there, some colors I set. I know it's ugly, it was all part of a demo and I didn't go fix it, but let's go ahead and review the document. So I'm going to first allow it to get my location. I am then going to continue to say that I agree to use digital signature. And now there's some information needed from me. Okay, and so I am John Levesque Media. Oops, if I could type, that would be great. John Levesque Media. The project title is, uh, let's say, party video the length is 60 and the media type is mp4 okay total project cost is going to be five thousand dollars i want 50 percent up front which is going to be 2500 i want another 50 percent at the end which will be another 2500 okay now if we scroll down we can see it wants some other stuff for me so it knows my name it knows the date I'm gonna go ahead and put my signature there, and then I'm gonna put in an address. One, two, three, Star Lane, Seattle, Washington, 98004. I don't even know if that's right. We're gonna go with it, okay? So now we've filled out everything that we need to fill out as the photographer, okay? This is all set up ahead of time. You saw all the fields were there, okay? So we go ahead and hit finish. We can see the copy has been saved, emailed there. We're going to yes, log in, yes, log in again. So it's going to save us a local copy. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the email because now imagine that was me, John Levesque Media, getting the first email. Now I'm the customer, John Doe. In the demo, we just happen to have the same email, so it comes to the same place. In real life, this would be someone different. Now, this is what they would get. They would see the logo. They would see John Levesque has sent you a document to review and sign. Please review and sign at your convenience. The, mu the, the, the music, well, uh, the message that we pre-programmed. We go ahead and review the document. We also, we would allow our location. We would hit continue to agree. But now check it out. A lot of the information that wasn't there is now populated because we were able to fill out our template. So, okay, I'm John Doe. I see I need to give half the money up front. I agree. We use the saved signature. I go ahead and sign again just to confirm. Now I give my address. 234 Moon Ave. Seattle, Washington, nine. 8004. Okay, so now John Doe and John Levesque Media have completed their contract. John Doe hits finish. He then is prompted to go ahead and log in and save. And boom, now both of them are emailed a signed and completed version where now each of us can log in and view the completed version of the document. John Doe and his signature, his initials, and also both John Levesque and John Doe. Now, obviously, I'm John Levesque. I sent it to the same email twice. My DocuSign account is connected to both. Keep in mind, if you sent this to someone else, it would connect to their DocuSign account. You would see John Doe at johndoe.com instead of two John Levesques. You'd see two different signatures. 
But the point here being, very quickly, we were able to create a sample template that we would use again and again. We created a placeholder in it where we can send it out to anyone very quickly. And in future episodes, I'll show you how you can automate this process. Or if you want to know now, go ahead and check out some of my uh, Power Automate tutorial videos on how you can wire this into some of your automated processes. That's it. That's how we create a template. That's how we test a template. That's how we set a signing order and custom messages for each. Hope this has been helpful for you. Go ahead and please click that like button and click subscribe so that you don't miss another video. Much love from me, my friends. I'll see you in the next one.